Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Su with Dal Su Plays, and we are back with a little bit more Banished. Had a little time this afternoon. I thought, why not? I'll do a little bit more recording. Having a good day today, a little day off. Drinking a Pil Pilsner Urquell. Um, I forgot how you pronounce it. Anyway, I actually went to Prague one time, and I got to go um, drink all the great beer there and stuff. Kind of got hooked on the on the real Czech Pilsners. So that's what I'm drinking today. Uh, a far cry from the box wine, but um, whatever. My day off. Might as well treat myself, you know? So we're continuing to fill out this little area. Once we're done with that, we'll probably migrate our efforts over down here. I guess I should probably fill that out a bit. I had also decided that I was going to fill in a little box here with housing. I really, really like the modular housing. First time I've ever used it was like just a couple videos ago, but I am loving it, man. There's also a modular food market. That's pretty cool. But we already have access to a market here and an urban bakery. I just don't know what that's all about, but anyway, we'll experiment with that later. What I am going to do right now are these three story urban houses because they look very urban, just like the description says. And I don't mean urban in, in, in like that sense that you would call like a rapper urban. I just mean, you know, in the sense that they look like something you might see in a downtown of a small village. And I cannot cram... I cannot cram one more in there, can I? Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, how about just some normal houses there? I don't know if that'll look stupid or not, but we'll try it. We're trying to get our number of kitties up because... I had kind of a problem with that. Um, not enough kids. The ratio is off, I've got to say. So yeah, we had built some first stories. You have to build the stories in, in um, you know, increments, right? So we go here and do it again. I keep forgetting what they're under. It's actually under themed, themed sets. Okay. So you build this second, and you can build it. Can't build it that way, so I guess I got to build it this way. So it'll be facing the wrong way. That's okay. I guess it doesn't really matter. This one will be like right there. Then didn't we build one more somewhere? I guess we didn't. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we didn't. Okay, well, they'll get those done. And that'll look really sweet. And we're at 80,000 food. Food seems like it's just going up and up and up. I guess that's probably because we're losing a lot of people right now. I am going to start, just start, the remove resources process for this new area. We do have already our little stockpile here. I don't know if they'll use it or not, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and tell them to do it. We haven't done any trading in a while, probably because there's not really much that we need right now. I could use a thousand logs, why not? Might as well. Okay, good deal. A lot of stuff shut down here. I'm um, do another shipping wharf at some point if I if I took a fancy to. Really need your building supplies though. What do you got? I don't need any food either. I'll take some corn seeds if anyone's got them, but I haven't seen those in a while. I seem to have like closed down my map here. Yeah, that's what I need. So much easier to jump around, especially once the game starts to lag. I can't believe I never like made good use of this until recently, but you can just jump around even despite the um, the lagginess that you encounter. Oh, there's another house that I forgot to do. I knew I had built a third one. I know it's going crazy. Try to get it right. I don't know how it's actually supposed to go. I guess that makes the most sense. Did I do it? It's just another thing. I can never tell when I've done it and when I haven't. Yeah, okay. I haven't done it, apparently. There we go. Alright, so with 25 builders, they should make short work of that, and we should start getting more kitties. I want 100. What? Did I build urban bakeries? Oh my god, I did. How foolish of me. That is not what I meant to do at all. Please remove these structures immediately. Do not need that many urban bakeries. Although, you know, we do have a lot of wheat, so... 
Maybe I should cancel that removal. Can I? Yeah. Let's go with it. And let's transform some of our flour, of which we have ample supply. Don't we? 11,000. Yeah, we need these bakeries, actually. Even though this one is a little offset to these two. I don't know why. So it looks so far. And how much apricot do we have? We have a little 32,000. Jesus. So yeah, we'll be making fruit uh, fruitcake here for the foreseeable future. That is going to actually be really nice. I was going to cancel them, but... I mean, it doesn't help our, um, our population any, which is kind of what I was going for, but... It will ensure future food supplies are ample. And especially if we do how oh we can do houses above them. Ah, I see. So like you're living upstairs from a bakery kinda. But they can't fit because of the road or because they're too tight together. Okay, so they're too tight. Aren't they? Yeah, they're too tightly packed, so I guess they're going to remain single-story bakeries. Oh, that's that sucks. I should have planned for that better. Anyway, it gives us some more stuff. It kind of fills in this area. Like, if I had known that's how it worked, I would have planned it, planned it better. I don't feel like destroying them and redoing the whole thing. It's probably not worth it. Not worth my time. But, for future reference... Nice to know that the ground floor can be a bakery, and then other stuff can be built on top. That's quite quite cool, I think. But yeah, you always got to leave space on each side of it. If you want to get it completely done. This one has not been built yet. So, right. So, I don't have space on this side. I can't actually complete. Okay, well, that's interesting to note. I could just cap it, no? You actually have to have that space to even cap it, otherwise it's just a square house. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so I already did that one. Alright, well, now I, I kind of got an idea of how that works. Uh, probably be using it a bit more. I'm thinking of doing a row of large mansions here, though. They tend to house a lot of people. I think they look pretty sweet. We just really need more population room right now for our kitties to be born, so... Oops. See, I keep always doing them, like, a little bit off. I'm gonna do that. Let's get those three built, and then we'll talk about what to do next. Yeah. Alright. Pretty happy with that. Um, how's that clearing going? Wow, it got done pretty fast, although it's not completed yet. I wonder, are they actually putting it down here? I'm sure they're just bringing it back into the main town. I guess it is a little bit farther as the crow flies through the jungle or whatever. I suppose I can't blame them. Alright, so what's next? Mm. Fairly comfortable on food. I seem to have gotten my iron up to a stable position. Food, uh, both tools and clothing is now okay. I've got more stone than I know what to do with. Yeah, things are looking up. It's basically just a matter of cranking out the houses so that our ratio will get up. And we can see we actually do have 100 kids now, so... That's better than it was. But I'd really prefer that number was up to about 200. But I don't know. I don't think making more builders would actually help the situation any. We just want to make sure we have enough fancy homewares. And I don't even think we're building fancy homewares, are we? Not exactly what's happening with that. This is the homeware supplier. Yeah, we're not actually even making fancy homewares, so we will run out at some point. But you know what? I'm going to start a new whole production chain of that before very long. This guy doesn't have enough furniture. Probably because something's turned off. Furniture maker? Where is the furniture maker, anyway? Here's the joiner. He's making furniture, so... I don't have too much to complain about. You don't have enough joists. Hmm. Okay, 
have a lot of joists, actually. So it must be a brick situation. Yes, we are lacking bricks constantly, so... I feel like we can fix that situation if we want to. Scotch. Are you buying any scotch? Why don't we just buy 200 bricks, just to get us up there a little bit. And we'll fix the situation later on. I wonder, it's, it's not a shortage of clay, though. It's just... Where is... Yeah, okay. It is a shortage of clay. Hmm. If we could do that over here, that would be nice. We'd have to kind of cross the river and, and do it here. This butcher is not doing as much as I'd like him to do. Pork cuts, bacon. I wonder what's the difference between just regular old pork and then the other stuff. He never really explains that, does it? Oh well. All right, how about these three new houses? They need to be upgraded. Almost done, so I can upgrade them. Plenty of time to take a sip of my Pilsner. Right, St. Patrick's Day is coming up, by the way. I don't know if you guys are Irish or whatever. We're all somewhat Irish, aren't we? The diaspora is so serious that uh, if you're white and American, this is already got some Irish in there. Or Australian, probably. Or New Zealand, QE, or probably even South African. Although South African is more Germanic, as I understand it. Canadian, definitely. But, you know, people do get a little overboard saying that they're Irish. You know, when they might have had a grandmother two generations ago who was from Ireland, you're not really Irish, dude. You're you're just an American who has a bit of Irish ancestry, you know. People get so obsessed about that kind of stuff. You know, I lived in Korea. People are always talking about your heritage and your pure, you know, your pure bloodedness and all this kind of stuff. Koreans Koreans always talk about pure blood and and how they're pure blooded and then how other people aren't. Not all Koreans obviously, but you know, in the countryside, you know, kind of uneducated people are still, just, they still believe that kind of old line, old party line about the racial purity of Koreans and whatever, you know. Um, so it's interesting because you couldn't say that in America, that you were racially pure. People would, people would be upset. But it's quite commonly and openly discussed in some parts of Korea. But at the end of the day, the, you know, there's no really no such thing as any kind of purity. I mean, what does that even mean? Because we, you know, we bred with Neanderthals if you go back far enough. So I, I never understood that argument. Anyway, a very heavy topic for right now. I, mean, I probably should avoid it. <laughs> discussions of discussions of race never um, never turn out that well. So twenty six hundred really need a new chair. You guys can hear it squeaking, I know. It's incredibly unprofessional, but um, I'm just working with what I got. I still need a soundproof recording studio as well. If you want to send me thousands of dollars, you can go ahead and do that, even though I do not have a Patron account. You know, just send me a message about how you want to um, buy me a new chair, and I'll uh, <laughs> gladly respond. I'm totally kidding, by the way. It is nothing but a joy and a pleasure to play computer games and record it. It's a little bit annoying having to upload and then put the descriptions and all that kind of stuff, but otherwise it's a real pleasure. It's not something that I would expect to get paid for, really. It's nice to think one day you could have a little beer money from it, but... Anyway. What are we going to do next? I think we should probably fill out this little tail end with something over here. It would be nice to have another stockpile. Let's start out with that. Um, where is my stockpile? It's going to be under... Oh, man, I should know the menu by heart by, at this point, shouldn't I? That would be a nice spot for one. There's no sense crossing that river, considering what's there. It's just uh, mountains that we can't ever use. 
It really looks like somebody ripped a Band-Aid off their uh, shin, like some hairy dude. <laughs> Had a band-aid he ripped off. Anyway. A gift for metaphor, I suppose. Um, what to do over here, though? Hmm. More houses? Looks like our mansions are done. Estates, as they're called. Actually, I have some young people living in them, and our, our amount of children are kind of going up a little bit. Is kind of going up. Yeah, I don't know what to do here, actually. I'm thinking of doing more like a build of a building supply chain, but that's rather complex. Tell you what, when in doubt, probably just do some fields. Try to get this pretty. There we go. That's too big. All right, we'll extend the housing out and then uh, we'll just leave it at that, I guess. We'll probably just finish the area off. Country house is the one. We're going to want to do it like that, like that, like that. Just in a long row, they can work these crops. And we'll finish out the area that way. I would like it to get back to making um, pewterware so that I can make more fancy homeware because then I can really just keep building as many houses as I want. So I do have a pewter mine, actually, that I think is turned off. So let me um, let me find that. That's going to be like over here, isn't it? This is a uh, a mine where I can get tin. So let's turn that bad boy on. Four to four is enough, I guess. I, I gave him way too many workers, but I think they're going to go work in a different mine. Why is this said uh, it's being removed? Oh, because I'm upgrading it, right? Yeah, I turned it off because I needed to upgrade it. That's right. Now I recall. So from there, you make tin. No, you make pewter. I need copper ore too, right? So I've got to turn on... This guy makes copper. He makes copper ore. Yeah, this guy does. So he needs to be turned on. Right? Why can I not see? <laughs> It's just the name is too long, so I can't see. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway, I've got too many of these guys. Yeah, you're a miner with no job, right? It takes a while to upgrade, update, so I'll let it go. So copper and then the tin is going to make uh, pewter. Right? And then the pewter is going to be made into pewter ware by this guy. Turn him on. And then uh, the pewter ware is going to be turned into fancy homeware. We also need fancy furniture, so you're going to have to do that from the hardwood. Okay, I think we got that production chain going. Lord knows if it's actually going to work or not. Um, but I do have too many miners, it looks like. Yes, too many miners, so. Really? What? Four out of zero? What the hell's going on here? Oh, it's because of this upgrade, isn't it? That's right. Okay, well that makes a lot more sense. This guy's got to be upgraded, so... We're gonna give him a little time. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching today. This has been Dalsu with Dalsu Plays. We're gonna cut it a little bit short. I thank you so much, and I hope to see you bright and early tomorrow morning. We're gonna start work on the south corner, the southwest corner of our um, of our town. Cheers.